Hi, my name is Pamela Silvers and I teach in the Computer Depar Technologies Department of AB Tech and today I'm going to talk to you about is it right for you? And it is information technologies. Have you ever thought about a career in computers and wondered what it was going to be about? For this, I'm going to ask you a few questions that you can answer to yourself. Have you used a computer today? And cell phones are computers. Have you ever answered a computer question for someone? This might be a friend, a family member, or a co-student. Do you want a good paying job in Asheville or someplace else? Do you like working with others? Yes, no, or maybe sometimes. Do you like solving problems? And solving problems can be as simple as deciding what you're going to have for lunch, or it might be more complex such as a geometry or calculus problem. If you answer yes to any of this, these questions, then a technology career could be right for you. For careers, you need to look at the world differently. And what I mean by looking at the world differently is that when you have a computer problem, there can be a multitude of things that all show you the similar problem. And so instead of looking at the world traditionally, you need to be prepared to be more creative. What do I mean by traditional? If I asked you what five plus four is, you would answer nine. There's only one answer for it. But instead, what if I asked you what things could equal nine? Pause the video and write down some of your ideas of what could equal nine. And to get you started, it might be something like six plus three. Okay, so instead of nine equals, what did you come up with? In addition to addition, such as six plus three, you might have had three squared, or possibly the square root of 81, or you might not have even had a math answer. Perhaps you put the number of people on a baseball team, or the number of months a woman is pregnant. So this is thinking differently, and that is what IT requires you to do. If you think about a career in, IB, in IT, why would you go to AB Tech? First of all, at AB Tech, you can get a great education and it's affordable. Your tuition would be less than $2,500 a year. It will prepare you for jobs. Our students after they graduate do get jobs, but you can also transfer to four-year colleges. Over 70% of jobs in the United States require post-secondary education. So you need to go somewhere to school. If it is an AB Tech someplace else, but it is not a case that you can decide not to go on to your school. Why would you do technology? First of all, you can get a job. You do not want to go to college and then not be able to get a job when you finish. You can get a job in Western North Carolina. Our graduates get jobs in the medical area, in legal or law offices, at banks, in manufacturing, we have IT students who work in the IT departments of companies such as Eaton and Linamar. You can get a job at hotels, at computer companies, pretty much any company that has more than 25 employees is going to need to hire an IT professional and you can get hired as that IT professional. But what if you don't want to stay in Western North Carolina? You can also move any place if you have an IT degree. There are no required state certifications, so you could go where you wanted to go. The reason I picked these pictures is, first of all, I had a student who wanted to live on the beach. She didn't know for sure where, but she wanted to live someplace on a beach. She got a job at Lockheed Martin in California and moved there. The camels are because I had a student who wanted to live in another country. He got a contract IT job and is currently living in Dubai. And the bear and the mountains are that I had a student who loved to snowboard and wanted to know that he could have um, the availability for as much of the year as possible. So he moved out to Colorado. All of these people moved there after they finished our degree. We also had a student who was hired by Apple Computers and moved out to California and was traveling all over the world doing work for Apple. After about five years, he got tired of that and did move back to the mountains of North Carolina where he got a job. 
the number of STEM jobs in the United States is a lot higher than the number of people who are looking for jobs. What this chart shows is that for every one person who has the STEM skills, how many jobs are available in their state. You'll notice that in North Carolina, for every person who has the STEM skills, there are probably 10 to 14 jobs available for them. If you go to certain states, such as I grew up in Nebraska, for each job that you have there, for each person, I would have my choice of about 45 different jobs. They pay well. IT jobs pay approximately 70% higher wages than non-technology jobs. And the expected growth is expected to be 18% by the year 2022. This is looking at two-year college graduate average salaries. And you can see if you have a two-year degree, you could expect to start out at a job at about $34,000. However, if it is in IT, that jumps up to more than double that amount. Now notice these are national averages, so those salaries that you could get in Western North Carolina would not be quite that high, but proportionally, IT pays more. And you can get the training at AB Tech. We offer an information technologies degree that includes general information systems. That's a broad-based, doing a little bit of everything. System security, network management, so, think about this. You could do something you already know about that pays well where you can get a job. For me, it really was computer technologies. I wanted to make a difference. I wanted to help others. I wanted to work with others. But what I really wanted to do is I wanted to drive a running car. I wanted to have a vehicle that I know is going to start each day, that I don't have to worry about having problems. I'd like to take a vacation each year. I wanted to be able to afford vacations. And I wanted to be able to have lunch with friends. If someone said, let's go to lunch, I didn't want to have to worry about, do I have the money to be able to do it? And really be able to enjoy life. I wanted a job that I could primarily work Monday through Friday from um, in the day and have my weekends and evenings to enjoy what I do. But you know what? The number one reason why I love my IT career is it is fun. I do something different each day. I can look forward to it. But I also know that people value and appreciate me because they need someone to help them with IT issues. I just like to end any talk with a quote from Maya Angelou. And she said, if you're always trying to be normal, you'll never know how amazing you can be. So think about that item that would make you feel amazing in the career that you would enjoy. Think about doing something you already know about. If you have any questions, please email them to me at PamelaJSilvers at abtech.edu. Thank you very much for your time.